Hey, Eric with Naughty Pleasures here, and I got a cryo radius edge skew from Grizzly, which is in really nice packaging. It's certainly not going to fall off when it's hanging up on the shop walls using these guys. Pull that out. But got a nice, very nice little curved edge. How well you can see. I'm going to give this a whirl in just a moment, probably on this piece of oak. Yes, it's rough, it's ugly, but what I'll be doing uh, first, I'm going to round it out just a little bit and then I'm going to hit it with the skew uh, fresh out of the box with a very nice blade already, and we're going to see just uh, how nicely it turns. So, I've got my piece of ancient oak mounted up between centers. I am going to quick come through with large roughing gouge just to help, just to help with uh, smoothing that out because I will be very honest, I am still not the greatest at the skew when it comes to turning something this rough into something round. However, once it gets more than halfway, I'll be a little better, and, and then I will switch over and start working with the Grizzly skew. So, no sense in showing all of it. I'll be back in a moment when it's better. Alrighty. So you see, got a little more round, which is good. If we're lucky, this piece will end up becoming a handle for a mallet. Uh, for a, actually, sorry, not a mallet, but a gavel. Uh, so I'm going to start with a couple of passes of another one of my skews just to re get the hang of it, re get the feel of it, and then I'm going to switch over to the curved skew from Grizzly and uh, in between, going to compare how each one looks. So here we go with first one. Pretty nice and smooth. I do like that tool finish. Left a little spot here, the original. So we'll come back to that. Let's switch over to the curved guy.
Alrighty, I do see some chipping, but that is me. I, I can honestly tell you that that is me. But let's come around here. Went through the rough spots, no problems, no chipping, no tear out. The only tear out is where I could feel that I made a mistake. That's also me. I need to get the tool rest in a little further because I was feeling as though I was going to pinch my fingers. Yeah, it's PTSD from prior uh, <laughs> prior screw ups on the lathe, shall we say? But I like that. That is a nice, solid finish. That is a nice, smooth finish right out of the box. Uh, so I'm going ahead and finish this fella up. At least uh, try to finish this up because I don't have the head yet. I can't finish the mallet entirely, but we'll see how it looks. Actually, what might help is if I raise the tool rest a little bit more. I think that's what's causing me to feel like I'm going to pinch. Get that closer again. On a side note, it sure is nice to be able to go the entire length again with the tool rest that I got from Grizzly. the bevel properly I get smooth all the way around that is absolutely beautiful so I think what I'm gonna do on this piece from here I know I want to turn it into a gavel handle uh, since this was cut back last October I think I'm gonna let it sit in the garage for a week or two and see if it checks or splits or anything I want to get an idea as to what the wood does but I will definitely say sure I like this little skew it's been pleasant I'm really liking the curving, the curved skew from Grizzly. That is a, sits there nicely, cut very nice. It is definitely going into my arsenal. So, all in all, I've got to say, the curved skew from Grizzly Pro, I really like how smooth the finish is with what limited skills I have with the skew, since, uh, the earlier SKUs that I used, uh, come and learn, weren't really set up all that well, but they didn't make SKU work fun, so because of that I didn't do a lot of SKU work. But with this guy, um, I will be doing more SKU work moving forward, and I'm really looking forward to, to that. Uh, again, I've got to say, another thumbs up for a great tool. 